Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS Adam programming. In this video, we will see how to create baseline flag and related variables using the concept of minimum base type. So in some of the previous videos, we have seen how to create baseline flag when we are supposed to take the latest assessment on or prior to treatment started. But here in this example, instead of using the latest record on or prior to treatment started, we will be using the record with minimum value on or prior to treatment started. So that's why we are calling it as base type of minimum. So let us now move to the specification. So here we have the specification for some variables. We'll go through them one by one. So ADT, so extract the date portion from VSDTC and convert it into numeric value. And for param variable, we are being asked to concatenate the values present in VS position followed by VS test and then VS STRESU within parentheses. And then for param CD, so we are being asked if VS position is equal to sitting and VS test CD is equal to SysBP, then set to STSBP. Else, if VS position is equal to sitting and VS test CD is equal to DIABP, then set to STDBP. For next, we have the definition for paramen. So it says if param CD is equal to STSPP, then set to the value 1 in paramen variable. Else, if param CD is equal to STDBP, then we are being asked to set the value to 2. And then for eval, we are being asked to set it to the value coming from VSSTRESN, which is a direct variable in SDTMVS domain. And for a visit so it says for the source records so if vs dot visit is equal to screen then set to screening else set to the proper case values of vs dot visit to the a visit variable and then we have part b for this definition which says for the record with ablfl is equal to i set to baseline so once we identify the baseline record we'll have to manually assign the text of baseline to the a-visit variable. So this is applicable in general. And after identifying the record, which is becoming our baseline, on that record, we'll have to explicitly set the text value to baseline. And then we have a-visit n, and it says for the source records, if es.visit is equal to screen, then set to minus one, otherwise set to visit num. And again, on the for the record with ablfl is equal to y, then we are being asked to set it to zero and then we have the definition given for ablfl it says set to y on the record with lowest non-missing result on or prior to the treatment start date for each parameter within a subject so in some of the previous examples it was only latest record on or before treatment started but here in this example it is lowest non-missing result on or prior to the treatment start date and in this, if there exists multiple records with lowest value, pick the latest record. Say, for example, if there are two records with a lowest value of 140, and we'll have to pick the record with the latest date. So we'll have to give preference to date after the result. And then we have base variable. It says populate the eval value from the record where ABLFL is equal to Y across all records of parameter within a subject. And then we have change variable. It says eval minus base on the records where ADT is greater than missing. So both ADT and TRT SDT have to be present and ADT has to be greater than TRT SDT on the re that record when where change can be populated. And then we have percentage change from baseline. It says divide change with baseline and multiply the resulting value with 100 again on the records where ADT is greater than treatment start date and then base is not missing or not zero and and all the records we are being asked to set the base type variable with a value of minimum because on all the records of the parameters present in the data we are deriving the baseline using the concept of minimum value during pre-treatment period so we are indicating that with the base type variable so let us now come to the programming and see how we will be implementing it. So here on the left hand side, I have my SAS program and on the right hand side, I have my 
input data sets, intermediate data sets that are getting generated and the final output data set. So here we'll be creating some of the derived variables which are direct based on the source variables. So here we are using VS dataset as input. Let us take a quick look at VS dataset. We have data for two subjects, 1001 and 1002 for two parameters. One is diastolic blood pressure and systolic blood pressure over different time points. And then in DM dataset, we have our reference start date. So this is equivalent to the treatment start date. So we will bring this as treatment start date in order to check whether a record is prior to treatment or after treatment. So now let us come to the processing. So here we are creating our param CD and param N variable. So we are checking if VS test CD is equal to SysBP as per the specification and then VS position is equal to sitting and then assigning STSBP on that record which meets this condition. And then as per the specification, wherever param cd is stspp, we were asked to use a value of one in param n. So we are doing that here. And then we are doing the same for the second parameter, which is say stdbp. So if vs test cd is equal to diabp and vs position is equal to sitting, then param cd is equal to stdbp and param n was supposed to be two. So we are assigning that here. And then we are creating our param variable by concatenating the proper case values of VS position to the values present in VS test and then unit concatenated within parenthesis. And then we are creating ADT variable by extracting the date portion from VS DTC and converting it into numeric format using input function and YYMMDD10.in format. And then we are creating our eval variable which is a copy from VS STRESN. And then we are creating the a visit variable before creating our ABLFL. So we have this general rule applicable and we'll be modifying the a visit value for the baseline record after identifying the ABLFL record. So if visit is equal to screen, then we are assigning the text screening for a visit and minus one for a visit and as per the specification. And then we are converting the values uh, on all the other records, so what we are doing here is we are converting the visit values to proper case values and then assigning to a visit. And on all those records, we were asked to use the value present in visit num for a visit, and so we are assigning that here. And we are assigning a format of date 9 to the ADT variable. So let us take a quick look at our VS01 dataset to see how our derived variables are looking like. So here we had date variable uh, variables still VSDTC were present in SDTM VS and we have added these derived variables. So now comes our actual coding. So wherein we will have to derive the baseline flag and then the dependent variables base uh, change from baseline and percentage change from baseline. So in order to identify the baseline record, the definition is to first identify the records which are not prior to the treatment start date. So for that, we need to have our treatment start date available across all records of the vital signs so that we can make the comparison between the assessment date in vital signs and the treatment start date. So for that, what we are doing here is we are reading our demographic data set and converting the reference start date values to treatment start date and then merging it onto our vital signs data set. And then with these lines of code, so we are in this step, we are creating the numeric version of RFSTDTC as TRTSDT. And then we are sorting the records based on the values present in use of JD in both the data set. And then merging DM to VS01 and creating this new data set called VS02. So if we take a look at VS02, the TRTSDT variable from the process demographics data set would appear here on all the records of a subject. So we have TRT SDT populated. Now we can check whether each assessment date is on or prior to the treatment start date by comparing it with TRT SDT. So we will see that in the next step. So we are now deriving the baseline flag. So as per the specification, we were supposed to use the latest record, not the latest. So the record with minimum value seen 
on or prior to treatment start date. So here we are subsetting the qualifying records and storing them in base 01 data set. So how are we subsetting? We are subsetting using where statement within the proc sort. So I am sorting all the records where ADT is less than or is equal to treatment start date which qualifies the condition of on or prior to treatment start date. And then we also have to check for the case where result is not missing. So I am adding this and condition and eval not is equal to missing. So note that here I am sorting the records. So all the eligible records would be sorted in this fashion. All the records of a subject come together and within the subject, all the records of a parameter come together. And if there exists more than one row within a parameter, so what I'm doing here is I am sorting the results based on descending of eval. So which means the record with highest eval in that parameter would come on the top. And then I am using ascending ADT, which means if there exists two records with the highest value of say, for example, uh, 150 on two different records. So of those two 150 records, which record would be given preference is the record which has a date value lower date value. Say for example, if those 150, 150 records are on 1st Jan and 2nd Jan, the 1st Jan record would come on top. So why are we sorting it this way? So if there exists more than one record with the minimum value, we were asked to pick the record with the latest date. So the latest record would come at the end. And then we are giving preference to visit num even if there exists multiple records on a particular day. So we are breaking the ties with the values present in visit num. So let us take a look at base 01 data set. Out of all the records, so we have eight records coming which are on or prior to treatment start date for these two subjects and of systolic and diastolic blood pressure. From these records, so we now need to identify the last record because we have ensured in the sorting that the record with the lowest eval would be coming at the end and if there exists multiple records with the lowest eval so we were supposed to pick the latest date record so we are now we have ensured that with the ascending ADT on the last record we'll have the latest record so we need to pick the last record so we are doing that in the next step so we are creating a data set called base 02 by reading base 01 and we are indicating to the data step that our records are sorted based on the by variable specified here. And then we are subsetting the last record within each parameter. So let us quickly see for one subject and one parameter. So here we were ensuring that the record with the lowest value is coming at the bottom. So here if you see with, these are the same records of the same subject and same parameter. So we have sorted the records based on descending eval. So the record with lowest eval would come at the bottom. And if there was a second record with the same value of 122, but on a different date, so what would have happened is, so the record with the highest date would have come here at the next record because we have after descending eval, we are giving preference for ADT in ascending manner. So the date with latest date would come here at the bottom. And then we are keeping only the required variables of USAPS ID, paramen, ADT, visit num, ABLFL and eval. I am assigning the text Y to the ABLFL variable here. So let's take a look at our base 02 data set. So here if we see, so we had two subjects at two parameters. So we will have one record for each of the parameters for each of the subject which becomes baseline provided all of them have a record prior to on or prior to the treatment start date. So we have now identified the identified the sub for each subject which which date record is becoming baseline and we also have the information what is the result on that baseline record because we need to use this information because the result on the baseline record is nothing but the base variable. But we need to use this information and populate it across all rows of the subject and parameter as per the specification. We will do that in the next step. But first we'll try to bring the ABLFL into the parent data set. So how do we do that? So here we know that for subject 1001 for parameter 1 for on date 15th April is becoming our baseline. So we are sorting the data based on 
use of JD, param and ADT. This is our parent data set VS02. So we are trying to bring this ABLFL into our parent data set now. So I am merging VS02 and base02 at U sub JD, paramen, ADT and visit num because so this particular record is becoming my baseline record. On that record we need to have this flag pulled in but at the same time we need we should not have the eval kept on the right hand side because this eval would overwrite all the values on the left hand side. So we are dropping the eval. So ABLFL would be populated when there is a match on these variables of u sub jd, paramen, adt and then visit num. So let us take a look at our vs03 and see how it looks like. So now on all the records which was becoming baseline, so we would have our ABLFL y populated. So this is going fine till this step and next step is to create our base and percentage change variables. But here what we are doing here is, so there was a second part of the definition for a visit n and a visit after identifying the ABLFL. So we are completing that definition here. So we are checking if ABLFL is y and if that is the case, so we are setting the value 0 to a visit n variable as per the specification and then we are assigning the text baseline to a visit variable. So this completed a visit variable and the next step is to pull our uh, eval on the base data set as eval on the baseline record as base across all records of the subject and parameter. So this 122 would have to be populated across all records of subject 1001 and parameter 1 on all the records in the parent data set. So for that what we need to do is we just need to merge this data set based on subject and parameter and renaming the eval value as base. So we are doing that here. So we are sorting our parent data set so far like which is this the parent data set has now become VS03 in which we have pulled the ABLFL into. And then we are sorting our base02 data set also based on subject and paramen. And then we are merging these two data sets at subject ID and paramen level because the value present here has to be present across all rows of that subject and parameter. So we are merging it at subject and parameter. And then at the same time, this variable has to be renamed. This is nothing but our base. So I am renaming my eval on the baseline record as base and then merging it. So now I have my base populated across on all rows. Let us take a look at our VS04 data set. So here if you see the value which is present on the record with ABLFL, so which was 122 is populated across all records of that subject and parameter. So here again if we see the value 74 which is present on uh, STDBP parameter on ABLFL is equal to Y record for subject 1001 is populated across all rows of that subject and parameter. So which is as per the specification requirement. And then so we will now be able to calculate change and percentage change. So as per the specification we were asked to populate a minimum in the minimum as the text in the base type variable. So we are assigning that here. And then for change and percentage change, so we were asked to populate it only on the records where ADT is greater than treatment start date. So we are checking that if ADT is greater than treatment start date and both ADT greater than missing and TRT greater than missing, TRT SDT greater than missing. And we are checking if eval not is equal to missing and base not is equal to missing because change can be calculated only when both eval and base are present. So if that is the case, so we are creating change as eval minus base and then for percentage change we are using change divided by base and then multiplying it with 100 as per the specification. I think the specification also had a requirement to check whether base is not zero but we can add that condition here if base not is equal to zero then percentage change is equal to change divided by base multiplied by 100. So this completes the derivation of all the required variables. So using the concept of minimum as the base type. So this is one variant of creating our baseline flag and dependent variables. So the overall flow for creating baseline remained the same when compared to the previous lesson on where we had to check for the last latest record on our prior to treatment started but here the definition got changed to 
the minimum value seen on or before prior to treatment started. The key thing is to handle that here in the sort section on which record is being selected. So this is how you can create your baseline flag when there is an alternate definition for your baseline when compared to the regular definition of baseline. Thank you for watching and keep learning.